Hey guys, it's Autumn here, and I suppose third time's a charm for this. Um, welcome to the super duper, very, very long awaited Lucifer Morningstar fan art piece that I have been trying to work on and have attempted to draw three times, and I have attempted this voiceover three times now. So hopefully, this all goes according to plan and Vegas does not crash on me again. So, I guess I'll start from the beginning on this, and I want to talk about the coloring process on this to begin with, and then I will go into talking about the show Lucifer and some plans for things I have coming up in the near future for videos and projects. So, I did this piece with Copic on Strathmore Bristol Board, the 300 series, which is the yellow cover Bristol Board. Um, I did a lot of shading on this piece. I think it's the most I've done on a Copic piece ever, possibly. Just like the amount of in-depth shading that I did and the time that I took to get the shadows correct I think is the longest. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong or if you think another one of my pieces came out better, but I think this one is one of the best shading wise and just overall drawing quality wise. So um, you notice he looks a little baby face, baby faced right now. Whoa, I said that way too quick. But I fix this very soon and I go in and I add his stubble so he actually looks like Tom Ellis or Lucifer from the show Lucifer. So uh, another thing, I apologize for the background looking as streaky as it is. I am not well versed in doing big backgrounds. If you have any tips for making backgrounds look flatter with Copic markers, let me know in the comments. Um, also his eye, his eye that is closer to the shadowed side of his face um, is a glowing orange. I did this to kind of emulate Lucifer's devil eyes that he does, but I didn't want to do both eyes like that and kind of ruin the effect of, of the smolder completely. So I kind of just did that and took the, the average of what the devil eyes look like when he flashes them. Um, one last thing about the coloring is I did base tones for his shirt and his hair and his coat. So they have a color underneath them and then they're shaded with grays or blacks to give them the actual fabric quality color that they're supposed to be. Uh, the same is with the background. I did his wings and his horns, although canonically he doesn't have horns. I'm trying to remember what I said the first time I did this. Um, but I included them because they're in promotional art and I thought it was funny that he has them in the promotional art even though he doesn't have them in the show. Okay. So, the show Lucifer is about Lucifer Morningstar, the actual devil, and he moves to LA to get out of hell, and he meets Detective Chloe Decker of LAPD, and he helps her on a case about one of his friends, and then continues to help her in cases after that, and they form a kind of friendship, almost? It's kind of weird, but you'd have to watch, watch the show to get it. So... They end up meeting and they work together a whole lot and there's some stuff that happens in the first episode that are very interesting and then after the first episode it gets way, way more interesting. Um, but the first thing to talk about is Lucifer has special abilities to draw out people's desires and for some reason this ability doesn't work on Chloe. So he constantly tries throughout the first episode and the second episode to see why that doesn't work, see if he can get through it and figure out what she actually desires. Of course, she doesn't. Uh, of course he doesn't, but it's one of those things that are is kind of a long-running joke in the show eventually, and it's just, it's funny. Um, but he's intrigued by her, wants to find out why it doesn't work on her, and they end up going on a three-series long adventure together like unintentionally but it's a really good show it is also one of my favorite comic book shows i said this initially when i did the first recording and i forgot to say it again but technically lucifer is part of the dc vertigo universe because he fall he first appears in the sandman comics from vertigo by neil gaiman i think i got that all correct um and so I was surprised to learn this and he also has his own comic under the name Lucifer, I believe also by Neil Gaiman. Could be wrong about that one. I have never found it. I'd love to find it, but 
never had the luck of finding a Lucifer comic anywhere. Someday, someday maybe. But I apologize for this blank spot here. I was startled by a stink bug and I am mildly terrified of all insects to some degree, so I kind of ran and had to get my grandmother to remove of the pest. And now we're back into the coloring again, but I think that's everything I wanted to say. I don't know. If I forgot anything, I'll probably insert it in the comments somewhere or I'll put it in the description down below, so I, I think I got everything though. Um, now to talk about the projects that I wanted to talk about. I wanted to make sure I got all the Lucifer stuff done first because it, I've been working on this drawing for a very long time. Um, but upcoming soon and new, I want to do some more fan art stuff. Um, I don't know if this will be the last TV show one I do, but it will be the last one for a little bit, I think. Um, I want to do some Critical Role fan art pieces. Specifically, I'd like to do Jester and Not at some point. And I also want to do some more D&D story time on the topic of doing more D&D stuff. Uh, I don't know when the next time I'll be doing one from our main campaign will be. Uh, the main campaign, by the way, is the one with Ambriel, Faraday, and Alexandra, as well as Dalk and the Dick. Um, I'm assuming many of you have seen that video because that video has done very well. <laughs> but... I don't know when I'll be returning to that one. We started a secondary campaign due to some issues with players right now and just being able to get together, but I will be introducing you to the characters in the other campaign and I'm very excited to introduce you to my character. I, ha I will have um, a video simply about her, but it will be a variety of digital speed paints because I have done a lot so far. Uh, a lot of them are concept sketching and getting basics down for her character, and I'll explain a lot of backstory in that video, and I'll talk about some of the other characters, and I will, oh, trust me, you will see lots of drawings of the other characters eventually, but I am, I'm very excited to share this new story with you. I feel like it'll have a little bit more to offer than our more comprehensive campaign right now, because the comprehensive campaign takes so long to get everyone together and play through it and actually have them some things to talk about. All right, I think I'm finally done rambling at this point. I apologize for talking for so long, but I thank you guys so much for watching this video. I thank you guys so much for being with me the past year or so. I just really wanted to thank you guys so much for allowing me to do YouTube and just have something fun to do in my free time. So with that, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye everyone!
Hey guys, if you like this video, be sure to check out another one over there. And if you want to see the full playlist for this series, check out over here. Thank you for watching and subscribe if you like, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone!